Hey everyone, I'm back today with some more author choices. My first author for today is Kikla Magoon and her book Camo Girl. In it, we have Ella and Z, who've been friends forever. Ella's sort of been teased, and Z certainly has been teased because he is definitely um, a kid who stands out a little bit. But they've been through thick and thin, good and bad, and um, she wants to stay by him and continue to be a friend until a new boy moves into town and he is also black and actually starts to notice her and pay some attention to, attention to her and so she's torn as to who should she be friends with and who really understands her and what is important to her so that's camel girl another book by the same author is the season of sticks malone my second author, many of you may be familiar with because a number of his things have been turned into movies, is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. He's also written An Abundance of Catherine and Turtles All the Way Down. So in The Fault in Our Stars, if you're unfamiliar with it, we have Hazel, who basically has been diagnosed with cancer and has been told that it's terminal, that she may buy some more time in her life, but that she will have a short life. Well, she ends up meeting Augustus, who was also battling cancer. And so together they have to sort of figure out what, what's life, what's important, um, as they begin to fall in love. My next author is Susan Nelson, Nielsen, sorry. Um, and We Are All Made of Molecules is one of her titles. In it, we have Ashley, who's one of the popular girls, and Stuart, who is not. And their parents end up falling in love and the two families um, move in together. And Stuart was kind of excited to start with because he's always wanted his sister. Ashley is not. She does not want the, the geeky boy to be part of her life. Um, so it's sort of a Brady Bunch, but not a Brady Bunch that goes well. Um, and through the book, we also sort of figure out why Ashley's parents um, ended up getting divorced and why her, her father still lives on the property. Other books by her are No Fixed Address and Word Nerd. Leslie Connor has written a number of books. This is her Waiting for Normal. In it, Addie is a really sweet girl. She struggles a little bit at school, but you know, she just is, um, tries really, really hard. And she lives with her mom in a trailer park. And her mom is not a great mom. She'll go off and leave her for a while. She'll forget to do things for her. Um, and all she really, really wants is to be cared for. Well, there is a, um, a convenience store across the street from where they are. And the, the two people that own that end up kind of looking out for her and making sure she's okay. And she's also desperate to go live with her stepfather um, and her half siblings because they have the normal life that she would like. All the books, other books by her are The Truth is Told by Mason Buttle, Crunch, and All Rise for the Honorable Perry T. Cook. Dan Gemeinhart is a fabulous author. He actually came to speak to Charlotte Wood a number of years ago before some of these books came out. He's also a super nice guy. Um, the Remarkable Journey by Coyote Sunrise is a fabulous book. We've got, we see Coyote right here. This is a name that she has chosen for herself because we find out in the book that her two sisters and her mother were killed in a car crash and her father simply can't deal with it. So since that, since that happened, he and Coyote have been living in the school bus and traveling all around the United States. Well, she gets a phone call and finds out that the park where her mother and sisters buried something is about to be torn up. So she's determined to guide her father back to where they lived in Washington before this treasure is um, uncovered and destroyed. But he, she knows he can't handle it and doesn't want to go back. So she has to figure out how is she going to get him back. And we, we dive deeper into their lives and we meet a lot of characters that they interact with and you know even give some rides to along the way. Other books by Dan Gemeinhart are Scar Island and The Honest Truth. And finally, we have Kwame Alexander. Many of you may have um, read some or been read to um, one of his books when you were in sixth grade. This is his book, Booked. 
Um, and, and as you can see, it's uh, soccer this time as opposed to basketball. And our main character, he's everyone likes him. He's good at sports. Life seems to be going pretty well um, until uh, the tragedy strikes in his family. And he has to figure out how he and his family can deal with it. Like Kwame Alexander's other books, this one is written in verse. So you get the story in the form of poems. Other Kwame Alexander books are Crossover and Rebound. So just a few more authors for you to choose from for this author talk. You will have an opportunity to put down some of your top choices, but they're all fabulous books and I couldn't cover all of them um, for you today.